right on the package. It shows you, and I'll show you right here. So I am in no way a dedicated roofer, meaning it's not my number one job. But I'm gonna show you something. Sometimes it's the things that you see after the fact when you go to repair it, what the problem is here. So after this nor'easter, this kind lady that I do a lot of work for, she's literally been taken by just about, I think, everybody that she's ever met coming into this development. And slowly, bad people are getting beat up, which is nice. I'm gonna show you something. So, do you wonder why the shingles are coming loose? Look at the placement of the nail. And if anybody knows roofing, is this where the placement of nails should be? Especially when you think about it, when it's at the ridge. Totally unnecessary. I mean, this is the stuff that just drives me insane. I mean, I just, I don't get it. And this is, this is the problem. This is stuff that's, that's never seen. Never seen by a homeowner. And this is also why you don't hire somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. And granted, you may not know, I guess, until you meet an individual or if somebody else has had experience with them. But, uh, it's just frustrating. So, I mean, look at this. Do you really wonder why this roof is coming loose? Where is that nail placed? It just drives me insane. At least that one's closer because at least you're tacking it in through the other one, but why not get it in its right location? It's so simple. I mean, what do they do? Just throw the green guys on this roof? It doesn't make any sense. But um, that's what I'm here for, just to help people out. So let's just get this done. Oh, it's not 100%. It is definitely a lot better than it was. And at least for now, she can be rest assured that she's not going to have any leaks. And the patch for now is secure. So, and that's the most important thing right now. Um, at some point she does need a new roof, that's why this is just a, a patch, so, but um, I'm happy with it and I know she will be too, so that's it. Now to get down. Just, um, like I said, I'm just kind of in the neighborhood. I can actually see over there there's a shingle in that house that's missing too, which that one's actually not a big deal. And this one right here is really not that big of an issue. I'm actually gonna patch it with um, a couple of uh, archies that I've got right now, architectural shingles, just to get it patched up. Um, and I'll just go to the store and get what I need for the job later. But, you know, this is typical. It's, it's New England, so that's it. Reasons why I couldn't tell you or show you on the package where to place your nails. I just grabbed a pack of loose shingles just because I've got a bunch of packs. Um, I usually always do just so I can kind of match roofs um, just, just in case kind of thing. Had at the uh, job site, I couldn't show you um, on the package exactly where it tells you to put your nails. But I'm home now and now I can show you. Shingle fastening. 5 8 inch above the tab cutout and below the adhesive strip. Come on, it's even on the package. I don't know, I think that's just what drives me nuts. So literally, even if you got it on the adhesive strip, it's a lot better having it there and a little below than having it above where it's not going to do anything. Every package gives you instructions on how to shingle. It even talks about roof felt and how you're supposed to lay that down. I don't know, whatever. It just, it doesn't matter. I just, it's, it's laziness. And it's, it's the stuff that drives me insane. I just don't get it.